We are tracking medical history that could help thousands of Americans. It has now been two months since doctors successfully placed a modified pig kidney inside of a human, and it is continuing to work well. This marks the longest time a genetically modified pig kidney has been able to function inside of a human being. And this matters. There are more than 100,000 people on the national transplant waiting list. 17 people die every single day waiting for an organ. We do want to bring in a doctor on this team doing this work, Dr. Uh, Dr. Washish Tadapudi joining us now. Doctor, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. We are two months out now. How is the kidney doing and is it working just like a normal human kidney would? Yeah, that's an important question. Uh, what we have observed is that the kidney so far is working as we would expect and it has demonstrated almost perfectly normal function. That's great to hear. I mean, pig to human transplantation has been attempted before, right? So why didn't it work then? Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, this procedure or some uh, form of this procedure has been attempted dating back to almost 100 years. The big difference is that we have genetically modified this pig kidney to more closely resemble a human kidney. Therefore, the uh, human immune system fails to recognize it as a foreign tissue and doesn't reject it right away. That's amazing. I, and I do want to note, I mean, also an extraordinary action on the part of the recipient's family, donating his body for this research that could help thousands of people. And I know that doctors and nurses actually held a moment of silence um, for this man. He is brain dead as he was rolled in the hospital. What is your message to the family? Yeah, so what Maurice Miller, that I want to put a name to the donor, uh, the whole body donor, if you will, that donated his body for science. The family needs to be commended, and it's only because of his contribution that we were able to perform this study and observe this kidney's function in Mo's uh, body for two months. And what we noticed is that it, it functions normally. So I think uh, Mo's contribution to science uh, has to be come in. Yeah, I appreciate that, and and we thank Mo. Um, what is it? What does the future look like? Are you going to study the kidney in Mo indefinitely to see how long it will function, or or any plans? Yeah, I think that's a really pertinent question. What we did was extend the study that was initially planned for about one month out to two months, and we observed it for 61 days. The study has now concluded, and we have actually ended the experiment now. Okay, I did not know that. So uh, is, is Mo no longer with us at this time? Yeah, that is true. Okay. In fact, um, Mo was a, was a brain dead individual who was ma being maintained in the intensive care unit at NYU Langone on, on a ventilator. So by, by all practical purposes, Mo was in, in fact already deceased about two months ago, but his family allowed us to continue to observe uh, the function of the transplanted organ in his body for two months. Okay, I, I appreciate that. And I know there's still a, a path going forward, um, information to be submitted to the FDA before this is performed on, on many more Americans, but certainly remarkable and we appreciate the update. Uh, Dr. Wishish Tadapudi, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.